Along with Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and our son, we're approaching the trade deadline, GA. How do teams decide if they're a buyer? It comes down to goals and really your timeline. So some teams make deals to try to push them over the top this season. Others might find the player they love and trade for him with the future in mind. Now the starting group for the visitors. We've got Yabuselli, and it's Jack in at the small forward position. No good from Henning Gomez. So for Athens, their last game, a win against the Golden State Warriors. The pass to Yabuselli. Here's Campazzo. Pass to Jack. Five to shoot. Pass to Campazzo. Here's the three. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. Rebound by Tavares. Gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Passes it to Jack. There's a screen. Pulls up. High post. Right wing. And there's the pass to Musa. Here's Yabusele. Over Hernan Gomez. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. No, it's early, but going 0 for 4 to start a game can make a team get a little bit tight. And it's denied. Pass to Composo. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Here's Tavares. No good with the layup. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an offer for the first five here to start the game. Pass to Vildoza. The putback. Rebound by Tavares. Gone 0 of 5 here to start the game. Rough start for them. Here's Musa. And you can see his scoring total. Those are some pretty good numbers. He's putting up close to 15 points a game on average. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley -oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. With a break in the action, let's see which teams have come away with the most steals in the NBA this season. You can't get careless with the basketball against this group. I mean, they'll pick your pocket, and, and no surprise to see them in the upper echelon as far as steals. A wide-open shot from Hernan Gomez, and he's good on the three ball. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. Passes to Musa. Here's Deck. Here's Musa coming off a solid outing against Philadelphia. Tavares, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. And the pass to Vildoza. Athens moving the ball around. Slukas passes to Grant. Here now, Vildoza. And here's Hernan Gomez outside. Does not find the basket. His second miss. He's now one for three. Here's Campazzo. Still yet to score. Here's Musa. Musa knocks down the 10 footer. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Pass to Slutz. That one's in, his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. Away team. So it's both teams making substitutions here. A moment to check out the numbers for none. So both teams making some changes here. Four seconds left to play in the first quarter. 
And none has got the ball here for Athens. They come in fresh off a win against the Warriors. Yeah, let's give a shout out to their defense in that one. The intensity, the shot blocking, just a dominant performance. Yeah, last game was pretty impressive stuff on that end of the floor, just getting up near shooters and blocking as many shots as they did. And the first one drops. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. Athens is gone just one of four from three-point range here in the first. From the arc, it's good from long range. That's nice vision there. You see that pass, you make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Athens ahead, up by four. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far, halfway through the first half in this one. And guys, what's your take so far on Athens? In that first period, they showed a willingness to make the extra pass. Well, so much unselfish play out there. The coaching staff has to be thrilled with that. To the paint, Slukas, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Now they're playing working to perfection there if that was their plan. And if it wasn't, maybe that should be their plan. We've got Rodriguez, and it's Campazzo in at the guard position to the right side. Here's Rodriguez. It's hauled in by Athens. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. And for Athens. Yeah, and they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second. We've got his own yet. And it's Njai in at the five, patrolling the paint. Fader on the way. Pisania's shot is off. Athens leading by eight. And Brent, what you get from Kendrick Nunn. He's a great athlete with deep range. Yeah, that's what he brings. He gives you quickness. One of those guys who can change the tempo of the game. And when he's doing it offensively from the three-point line, that's pretty dynamic stuff. And for Athens. And around 24%. Not a good showing here. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Rodriguez feeling it out a bit. Lock at six. Pass to Campazzo. Off target with his three. Athens shooting well. 50% for the four. Phil Doza, the pass to Slutz. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. And that's going to be out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Gone 0 or 2 from deep here in the second. Here's Campazzo. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. The deep doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. Here's Lucas. Softly drops in the floater. He's got six. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Can they get it? That's it. The Athens lead is cut down to seven on the bucket from Rodriguez. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. And Athens making a change here. Hernan Gomez is checked in. Slukas passes to Hernan Gomez. Still a ways to go between now and the three-point contest, but it's always fun to talk about it. Let's see who has the best shot to earn a spot in this year's event. And maybe this list changes between now and All-Star Weekend, but I don't think anybody would be disappointed if it stays exactly the same as it is right now. He's all the way up there at number two in the voting for the three-point contest. Fans and the media know that he is one of the premier long-distance shooters in the league today. And Kevin, not to take anything away from the other facets of his game, but let's face it, that three-point shooting is what puts him on a whole nother level. 
And it's going to be an exciting showcase this year. Some incredible shooters, that's for certain. We'll keep you updated as we find out more. Yeah, I think we're in for a real treat. I, I think the increased importance of the three-point shot in today's game has really shined a light on the talent, precision, and, and really the wow factor of how these guys can drill the long ball. Passes it to Vildoza. And Greg, when they talk about youth development, the days are gone when coaches divided guards and bigs when it comes to skill work. When, when did that change? It, it's kind of a recent development, maybe the last 10 or 15 years. But it's amazing how the game has evolved. Stolen by Grant. Tries a three. The rebound by Yabu Sele. Gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. It's hauled in by Athens. Grant down low. No scoring in this one. Gone just two of eight shooting here in the second quarter. A pass to Yui. Floats one. He can't get that one to fall. Athens leading by seven. Takes that one up and powers it through. And he might be small for a center, but boy, can he jump out of the building. Being a pretty pitiful 25% in this game. Offensively, they can't get anything going. From past the arc. That will not get it done. He's 0 for 2. Vildoza, the pass to Grant. Here now, Vildoza. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Athens moving the ball around. Just five to shoot. Grant. He's now one for two with that bucket. That's the kind of pass that you want there. Work the ball around. Keep it moving. Try to get an assist on every bucket. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. The shot by Deck, no good. For Athens, they've gone six of nine in the second quarter. Some good work from the field. Outside Grant, and here's Hernan Gomez outside. Good, and Grant gets the assist. Hernan Gomez has got the lead up to 14 now for Athens. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. A floater. It's hauled in by Athens. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Misses from close range. And so it's Athens with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome, everybody. Offensively, they're facing no resistance on the interior. So they just continue to grind away. You see the high quality. And now, some. Thanks for spending half time with us. Time to get it back out to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Athens leading by 14. We've got Yabuselli, and it's Busa in at the two. It's tipped. Here's Campazzo. Still without a basket. Pass to Tavares. Puts it up from 12. That one goes. Count it. Yes, loving it the confidence. Just rise and be free. And you know you can do this. There's something to be said about knowing yourself. It allows him to shoot and shoot comfortably, even with taller defenders out there. Well, uh, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. Here's Musa. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. First trip to the line for him here. And from the line thus far, how about 83% on the season? Outstanding. 
Athens shooting 48% from the field. Not bad at all. Phil Doza, the pass to Slukas. Kicks it out to Grant. Five on the clock. Athens needs to get a shot of him. And Campazzo pulls it down. And they start the second half with three straight misses. To the middle. That's in. And the Athens lead is cut down to eight on the bucket from Tabarnes. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. Right around a minute and a half played here in the third quarter. Down low, there's Lucas, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. D has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. For Athens, they've shot three of five at the foul line. And really, they haven't been able to differentiate themselves from the free throw line on the season at about 76%. That's it. And the Athens lead is cut to just nine points on the basket from Yabusele. Well, the talk at halftime must have been a good one right now. Three straight buckets to start the quarter. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The NBA has a three-pronged approach to globalization. One is hosting games on foreign soil. Two, teach youngsters to play through academies and camps. And three, make broadcasts more accessible via television and the web. The returns, 15% growth year over year for the last decade. And an opportunity in time to maybe be the biggest sport on earth. Kevin? Those are big plans. A lot of competition, but I love the way they think. EA thanks. That's it. And the Athens lead is cut to just five on the basket from Tabarnes. Oh, no. He may have gotten injured right there. He's in a lot of pain. And that's the one thing you just really can't control or even guard against. And that's injury. Yep, you can do all the stretching and all the strength training. Eat right, train right. But at the end of the day, it's pretty random. Unable to get the ball in bounds. They get called for the five-second violation. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Stolen away. Here now, Vildoza. Hazonia defending. A three ball. Athens with another miss. This has not been a good quarter right here. Shot has been off the mark, and now it looks, Kevin, like he's pressing a bit. Here's Yabusele. He has seven. Misses the three. Here now, Vildoza. Grant kicks to Hernan Gomez. From deep, Musa grabs the miss. Gone five of six so far from the field in the second half. Tremendous efficiency. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Hazania's shot is off. And so Grant will bring it up for Athens. They've led by as many as 14 points. Passes it to Vildoza. Here's the pass to Slutis. Six to shoot. To end the cold streak. Deck pulls it in. Deck's got six rebounds now in the game. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench. If he keeps shooting it like that, he has been putrid here this quarter. Out to the right wing. Athens moving the ball around. Hernan Gomez passes to Slutis. Deck pulls it in. Dex got his seventh rebound here tonight. Over to the left wing. Pass to Musa. Here's Yabusele. Pass to Azania. This one for three. That one doesn't drop. And still, he scores. Boy, they could use just a little bit of help from him. Takes it inside. A rebound by Hazania. 
He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. Jack passes to Composo. The shot buries the jump shot. Moose's got six points. Well, uh, they're getting stops, and they're attacking on the offensive end. Yeah, coaching staff probably loves this, just grinding out defensive possessions, which is helping them get back into their offensive flow. And now, here's Hizonia, guarded close. Pass to Composo. For the tie. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Athens leads by three. And we'll have the start of a fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ball game. Being 31%, not looking sharp offensively, to say the least. A chance here to get a quick injury report. Now, he told me that it's a knee sprain, and it's definitely painful, but it's fortunate it wasn't worse. He won't return for this game, and depending on the final prognosis, he may miss a number of games before making a return. I'll let you know more details as soon as I find them out. Kevin? Good information, David. He's certainly been on our minds. Now, at least, uh, Greg, we have a little more clarity. Yeah, now they have the information they need to take the best course of action. Everybody wishing the best for him. We all know how badly he wants to be out there playing alongside his teammates and competing. We've got Rodriguez, and it's Hezonia in at the power forward position. And we've played through about a minute here in the fourth, and he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. None against Rodriguez, and the officials call for a three-second violation. Yikes, that one stings there. Hurts so much more to turn the ball over, especially with how tight the game is. Juan Hernan Gomez, he's checked in for Athens. Here's Campazzo from outside off the mark. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. To the inside, there's Lucas. The shot from the low post is good. Man, that's an excellent play call to free him up from the defense. While taking advantage of that opportunity, it does not get any more high percentage than that one. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey guys, well during the break, I was able to catch the message the visiting team coach gave to his team. With the game in the balance, Coach was calm in the huddle. His main message, execution. He told his team to make sure to remember what they talked about during shoot-around. We've got a great ending in store, guys. Thank you, David. Kind of rare to see any player have this much of a struggle from the field. To still have the lead shows how resilient they are as a complete team. Inside to the inside. A nice shot by Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Athens trails by three. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. The shot's good. Composo's got four this quarter. Well, defensively, they've been flat in this second half. A very different type of team than we saw in the first. Several teams changing it up here. Athens has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. To the paint, there's Lucas, and oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Personal foul. First team. And he makes the first. He's perfect from the line this time. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. To the wing right side. 
Musa. The rebound by Grant. Uh, he loved to make them pay for giving up that wide open jumper. Just unable to do so. To take the lead, and the layup is up and in. And Athens leads by one. Well, as a move into the fourth, it's been an even game. Guys, teams have exchanged the lead five times thus far. And he drives in, and it's good two points. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. To the middle. Athens moving the ball around. Down low, there's Lucas. Good, and Grant gets the assist. Grant's got four assists in the game. Well, that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense. A quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. Here's Azania. Now the pass to Yabusele. Got him with the bump fake, but couldn't finish. For Athens, they've gone four and seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. And the basket by Goldoza. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater, boy, those sure are pretty. And now here's his own. He's guarded closer. Just five on the clock. Not loose. And that one ends up out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Here's Campazzo. He hits hauled in by Athens. And then Gomez has got four rebounds in this game. Pass to Vildoza. Here's Lucas. Musa grabs the miss. 55% of the fourth. They are executing late. Pass to Azania. Passes to Campazzo. Here's Musa. And the three off target. Now Athens with it. They've led by as many as 14 points. And here's Hernan Gomez outside. Good on the three-point shot. And Athens leads by six. Such a height mismatch out on the perimeter, and they give up the trip. Guys, what do you think? Score, then hope for some missed free throws or a turnover at the other end. Yeah, this, this won't be easy, so a, a little bit of luck will go a long way for them to get back in. Yabusele passes to Hazania. Here's Deck. The pass to Campazzo. It falls! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. And so they foul intentionally. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. It looks like he was a little tight on the line that time could have and should have closed it out Eyes your thoughts and if you can get a three shoot it otherwise get the quick two and a five don't force something up you got to be smart here 20 seconds left to play in the final quarter here's Azania. it's in and what a sensational bucket to bring them within one that is world class. Love seeing that there. A huge possession, and he nets it. He hits the first one, and that will put them up by two. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. And the perfect time to be perfect at the line. Only a three can tie it now. Bullseye! And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. And Athens calls time here. Seconds left in the game. There's Lucas. Count it. And he'll have a chance for a three point play. Campazzo. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. And guys, this is where their depth 
really comes into play. They, they've got such talent at that position. They'd love to have him out there, but they won't suffer much of a drop-off. What's happened taking the W in this one? What a show they put on here at home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel so great to win, and, and really, it's like a knife in the gut to lose. Uh, you, you gotta love being on edge of your seat and just wondering what's going to happen. How is this thing going to play out? Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us as we end with the New Balance Player of the Game.